Okay, got a GE dishwasher, will not start. It's definitely turned on, definitely plugged in. Those are the first couple things. And um, what this has, these GE dishwashers have a GFI hidden behind. Okay, what are three things to check if you got a dishwasher that will not start? Well, first is the plug, and just if you have power there. Second is, if you do have power there, the start deal is actually advanced to the start set. This one is. And third is on some dishwashers, you've got a GFI. So this one looks like it might be a GFI. Um, one way you can test power real quick is you'll have constant power at the plug, but your garbage disposal will be on a switch. And so what you can do is unplug the dishwasher and if your disposal if you plug it in real fast yeah then you got power so we know we got power and that disposal didn't sound too good either did it so let's take a look at that yeah I see something in there already look at that something else too that's not our story, is it? Even though I do want to fix that real quick, just so I don't forget. All right, I'm gonna come back to that. All right, anyway, back to checking. So, I guess we've got two screws that we loosen up up top, and then we can slide over the panel. And then two screws below, and then we can slide over the panel. Hopefully, my screwdriver will cooperate. Sometimes. My screwdriver's gotten a little rounded. That's not good. like that the angle is going to be just exactly right. Anyway, here is our GFI. Let's go the reset button. There it is. Oh, bam! There So we can set our panel back. And assuming that there's nothing else deeper that caused it, which on these a lot of times there isn't, but there can be, so be aware of that. There we go. 
All right. There we go. So I'm just gonna skip past and go to the drain cycle. There it is, it's draining. Drain, drain, drain. And right, check that disposal again. Uh oh. It's just a chain reaction. I got a got a faulty switch now. If it works. You gotta kind of see. Kind of push it. And crook it. Crooked part's easy. This take the flat part of this. Push it over. There we go. Now, but probably gotta replace it anyway. Same so switch. <laughs> and the stuff you run into, chain reaction sometimes, it's just the way it is. But, working things out, making things better. Dishwasher's all fixed, drain good. So, advance that, turn that off, dishwasher's ready to go. Throw this away, throw this away, throw this away. Garbage disposal's on And now I gotta replace the rocker switch, and that's that. Anyway, nice and easy. Maybe do a separate video on how to replace the garbage disposal rocker switch. It's done. Yeah. Right. This one's ready. 2020. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for His bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on Himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him so if you haven't put your trust in him call out to him to save you it's a gift of salvation you can't earn it he did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him so you are invited to be reconciled to god something that was impossible god is holy and our sin is separated but without god it was impossible but god came to save us he sent his son jesus you know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So, call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So, don't, don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years. So if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, He took all of our sin on himself at the cross so put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh so that you have the covering is he is the lamb the lamb of god that takes away the sin of the world all right stay safe out there god bless god bless you